Amal Kumar and here is another very interesting question to graph polar equation. The question here is to graph the equation r equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta. You will notice this number 2 is more than 1. So it's kind of a special group of graphs and we normally call them Lemecon with inner loop. We will see what inner loop is. To begin with, we should always check the symmetry, right? So first, I prefer to write the equation in the function form, which is f of theta equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta, right? So r is f of theta, which is a function of theta, right? That is how we can write it. Now, in this particular equation, if I replace f with minus theta, what do I get? We know that uh, cosine is an even function, so we should always try this symmetry. f of minus theta should be equal to 1 plus 2 cos of minus theta that is indeed equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta and that is f of theta right so that gives us that f of minus theta equals to f of theta and therefore function is symmetric symmetric about what can you tell me symmetric about polar axis is that okay so polar axis so that means the graph is symmetric about the polar axis. So that's the polar axis for you, right? So this is the polar axis. That means that we could take only the points on the upper half and then reflect them to get the other half, right? So it is helpful to find the symmetry. By finding symmetry, this is our step one we have identified which are the good points to take. Is that okay? So now what we will do is we will take up some points. Okay. And calculate the value. So the points for us should be. Now what I have done here is taken a graph. And um, uh, in this graph, uh, we have taken these values. This is of course 0. And this is... Uh, pi by 6, this is pi by 3, here we have pi by 2, and so on, correct? So, so we could say this is uh, uh, 1 pi by 6, 2 pi by 6, 3 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6, which you can write 2 pi by 3, correct? And this is 5 pi by 6, I prefer to write like this, and this is pi of course, okay. So we'll take up these values, right? Of course, I should write this as 2 pi by 3. Is that okay? No problems. So these are the points which we will take, uh, starting with 0. So let's take 0, pi by 6, uh, pi by 3, pi by 2, and then um, 2 pi by 3, 5 pi by... Uh, we'll run out of page here. Let me push this a bit okay 5 pi by 6 and pi is it okay so these are the points I hope you can see them let me push them a bit more okay so we'll use the calculator to be you know to be fast on this 1 plus 2 uh, not really at times you're faster without a calculator since we know we will end up with some decimal values uh, we should use the calculator okay so the first one here is 1 plus uh, 2 times cos of 0, right? So cos of 0 is 1. So that should give me 3 as my answer. So we get 3 here. Now the second one is 1 plus 2 times cos of pi by 6. So we have pi divided by 6 equals 2 in decimals. We'll write all our answers in decimals, 2.73. And now we have 1 plus... 2 times cos of pi by 3. So that is uh, pi divided by 3 bracket close equals 2. This value is 2. And now pi by 2. So 1 plus 2 times cos of pi divided by 2 equals 2, 1. Okay. And then 2 pi by 3. So 1 plus 2 times cos of 2 pi by 3. So 2 pi divided by 3 bracket close equals to 0. And then we have 1 plus 2 times 
cos of within brackets 5 pi by 6 so, so 5 pi divided by 6 bracket close equals to in decimals again uh, minus 0 0.73 okay and then then we have um, 1 plus let's say 1 plus 2 times cos of pi so cos of pi bracket close equal to minus 1 so these two values are negative for us we'll see how to plot them okay now let's go through the graph and plot each point so the first point 0 and 3 that means the angle is 0 you go along the polar axis and mark the point 3 units away from the pole pi by 6 so that means this is the ray we are talking about 2.73 is kind of close to right so that is the next point pi by 3 2 units away pi by 2 1 unit away okay and 2 pi by 3 is 0 so that that brings you to 0 right so we come back to 0 here and then we have 5 pi by 6 is minus 0.73 so how do you do minus 0.73 right so what we do here is at 5 pi by 6 we know 7 3 is here but minus means it has to be reflected do you see that so so it has to be reflected so i'm trying to place it back so i'll just put a hole here and reflect this point on this side so this becomes my next point on 5 pi by 6 and the next one here is minus 1 so i mean um, at pi we have minus 1 so we get 1 here and minus means i have to reflect it so so we get a point there do you get the point so what we get here is these are the set of points which we get and we know this function is symmetric about polar axis so let's connect these points it's kind of a like this do you see that part which goes kind of like this do you see that so like you have in a snail right those rings which you see so that is what you get right so i hope that works for you so this is kind of the diagram and that's only the upper half well a part of it half of it right now we know it is symmetric about the polar axis so we'll take each point as its reflection so if if i have the reflection so this part you see this overlap this is the reflection so that is the overlap in a loop which we are talking about so if this value is higher than that that is to say if i have r equals to a plus b cos theta where b is greater than a then we get inner loop is it okay so that is what we are observing here now let's continue with the graph so we have a point here and this point reflected on pi by 3 somewhere right so it comes down kind of here and this point is is here right so and the next point is there so we can connect these points correct so we get this point connected so that's the reflection is it okay so we can connect these points um, i hope this graph is good enough for you so this is what you get and that's the graph of r equals to 1 plus 2 cosine theta you get the idea right so we will have similar family of graphs for any function which is a plus b cosine theta where b is greater than a so whenever b is greater than a we'll get this loop in one of our videos we saw when these numbers are same then they actually join at this point and in another video we will see if a is greater than b then this point is not inside but outside kind do you get the idea so that is how the graph will be i hope this video gives you good understanding of one how to sketch and how to visualize these graphs i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best